Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another 2v2 match for you. This one will be on Redstone Gulch, and it will be between the boss, the Red Zerg player. His teammate will be Design RH, the Blue Terran, and their opponents will be none other than EG Axlab, the Purple Terran player, and EG Strife Crow, the Teal Zerg. And now, Strife Crow, I know, usually is a Zerg player, however, Axlab, I believe, his main race is Protoss, at least that's what he plays in 1v1s. As I'm sure many many of you have seen Strife Crow and or Axlaf play before on some other uh, commentators channels or in some of the tournaments. As they are definitely top-notch players and a very famous 2v2 team currently ranked around number 20th overall in the world. And on the other hand, uh, the boss and design RH um, they're a pretty highly ranked 2v2 team. I think around um, uh, around the 150 mark in North American servers, so they're definitely a high Masters level team. And this is going to be, I believe, the first game in a set of three games between these two teams that were played against each other. Now, I say I believe it was the first game because I don't know uh, from the replays sent to me which game was played when necessarily, so I sort of am going off of the opening chat to determine which game was first. But anyway, um, so let's talk about this game. It is going to be a mirror matchup, TZ versus TZ. EG Axlaf is scouting out the boss right now, and it looks like the boss has gone for a very early spawning pool. And it looks like he's going to get those uh, early Zerglings out very quickly. And what is he going to um, encounter when he gets down here? He's going to find out that Strife Crow with a pretty late uh, spawning pool looks like most likely a 13 pool here. And then Axlav is throwing down a two barracks at the front um, of his ramp. So not a fast Hellion build, definitely, but we have seen, even just last game I cast, we did see Destructive go for a two barracks into Hellion. But um, uh, Destructive definitely had his gas working here, um, whereas Axlav doesn't. So could we be seeing some mass marines out of Axlab, it will be interesting to see what happens there and we do uh, have what looks to be a Hellion build for Design RH. He's got his reactor working on his initial barracks and the factory is about halfway completed and there is a very fast Roach Warren coming down for Strife Crow so he went for the 13th pull directly into the Roach Warren and the Zerglings are going to be out just in time to meet the boss um, at the top of his own ramp and it looks like Strife Crow will maybe, no he's not going to get the better of that because the boss is reinforced with a couple of Zerglings here so Strife Crow is going to continue to bide some time here with his two Zerglings until this queen pops out and the bosses needs to be careful because as soon as that queen pops right there as you saw my computer lock up for a second as apparently whenever the queen does an animation my computer needs to freeze for a second and it looks like uh, Axlab will be bringing over three marines to help ward off these zerglings so I don't think uh, the boss's um, zerglings are going to be able to do much here his speed is still about 20 seconds away from completion we have two hellions now on the way um, for design RH and he is getting that second factory and going ahead and getting his tech lab preemptively on that barracks as well so it definitely I definitely expect to see an Infernal Pre-Igniter build here. Nothing out of the ordinary from the top team. The only thing I would say is I think that this was, it wasn't even a 10 pool, I don't think. I think this was actually more like an 8 pool or something. Not 100% sure on, the, on that. But it looks like the boss is going to be content to chill at this watchtower and uh, while Design RH gets some Hellions out. And we'll see if he waits until he gets the Pre-Igniter research um, completed to even uh, make an attack at all or do they want to try and be aggressive before that and cause some harassment Axlav though is throwing down a bunker out here um, sort of between these two bases and I feel like I'm having some sort of deja vu right now where I've seen players um, I'm not sure if it was Axlav or somebody else but here comes the Hellions from Design RH going to reveal the tech route without actually making any kind of attack this bunker what I was going to say before is that it's kind of at a bad place here I feel like this bunker is not going to cover much, and this second bunker is not up. Could Design RH run right into the Zerg main? He could if he wanted to. Axlab is going to try and throw a supply deal down up here and possibly trying to wall this off, and maybe Design RH will realize that that is wide open. I want, uh, he's, he doesn't want to lose all of these Hellions, though. He doesn't want to run back in there and get trapped by these Roaches, but he would be able to do quite a bit of economic damage if he ran in there. There is no spine collars or anything of that nature. There's a bunch of Zerglings back here to support. 
So um, it looks like this Infernal Pre-Igniter is going to finish in about 20 seconds for Design RH, and that is when we're going to see them try to make something happen. As for now, these Hellions sort of uh, just trying to be annoying. I think he's, he maybe is getting a little ahead of himself. You don't want to get too close to those roaches. And here we go, and the Pre-Igniter has finished. They're going to make the attack. The boss is running right by all the roaches straight into the Zerg main, and the Hellions are following. And Strive Crow with no uh, spine crawlers or anything back here to defend. These drones just died instantaneously from the Infernal Pre-Igniter Hellions, and these roaches are going to try and trap these units inside the base. It looks like Zerglings, so many Zerglings on the, on the field for the boss are quickly going to be cleaning up the roaches with the help of these Hellions to take care of the Marines, and that could be all she wrote. That is definitely all she wrote. As the left team now, no army and no economy, at least uh, in the case of Strife Pro, tried to go ahead and grab that expansion. The left team, that is, they both tried to get some fast expansions. Not going to pay off against the Zergling Hellion strategy. I know a lot of you guys have been tired of seeing this strategy all over the place, but hey, man. Uh, if it works, it works, and this is some pretty high level of play here. We all know that uh, Axlav and Strife Crow are a top notch team, and they made this, this mistake here. I just feel like their defenses, it, their tech route was fine. They were okay. Uh, I mean, the Roaches, if microed properly sh with those Marines um, behind them, is a, is a viable defense against this strategy. I just feel like their, <clears throat> their uh, placement of their defenses was not very good. I mean, these. Bunkers, yeah, you say, well, yeah, what are you supposed to do? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe if you move these bunkers up um, a little bit here and perhaps even uh, try and utilize, like, this barracks or even lift these barracks off at a certain point to try and create more of a, um, of a choke or at least protect the ramps just a little bit. <clears throat> it's pretty hard to say. It's a it's a pretty tough strategy to beat, obviously. So well played by the right team, and I I'm pretty sure this was the first game in a best of three. I don't know if it was a best of three, but I have three games. So um, let's move on to game number two. That's gonna do it for me. This is Irie Starcraft, and peace out.